Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I guess I'm going to do something that I did not realize that I have not done. So a few people have actually asked me how to pronounce my name. Pause while, <laughs> before I explain that. Um, right now I'm just applying um, dehydrator and primer before I start. So we're gonna be doing some poly gel nails today. I already have my dual form picked out, so yay. But uh, people have been asking me how to pronounce my name. And to me, it's pronounced how it looks, but apparently everybody doesn't see that. So, my middle name is Nicole. Just like Nicole, just with the M, just spelt, you know, with a couple extra K's and an accent in there. Um, my great-grandmother named me. She was a big James Bond fan, and apparently Nicole was in one of the movies. And that's where my middle name came from, and that's the name I use for my business and my channel. So there you go. So today I had a design in mind for my nails, something I have wanted to do, and I'm just going to use my McCart Clear Poly Gel to go ahead and use it for the base of the nails that I'm going to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this. I'm going to show you how I do a couple nails, and then I'll show you how to do a couple nails on my other hand, and then we'll get into the design. Okay, so I found something neat at the dollar store. So I found these glitters for a dollar a piece. That too was a dollar. I'm gonna go ahead and use that one in my design today. And the other package with the four in it was a dollar as well. So I'm just gonna mix this glitter in with some of the clear poly gel to do my ring fingers on both hands.
So now that I have them file shaped and buffed, oh, they already look so cute. Ah. And in hindsight, I should have left them that way. But I got these glow in the dark gel polishes from iChill. I'll put a link down below. Um, but one is like a champagne rose color, and it's kind of like a milky white, and the other one's like a bubblegum color. And so I'm gonna use the champagne one because I kind of wanted a like milky kind of effect, but we all know I can't paint with nothing. I'm working on it though, I'm getting better. Um, so we're gonna paint the nails and then go on to the next part of the design. And yes, I'm back again with the foils. If you watched my previous videos, I fail at this the last couple times I tried this. So we're gonna try it again and see how it comes out today. So all I'm doing right here is just cutting up the pieces of the foil that I'm gonna use on the nails because I'm gonna put them on all of the nails except for the ring finger that has the pretty um, sparkly glitter that I use and you guys that came out so pretty. Okay, so I realized where I was going wrong with the foil was I was not curing the foil glue long enough. So it wasn't having enough time to get tacky and it was hard for the foil to stick, which is why some of it would stick and some of it wouldn't. So I'm going to do all of my nails and then I'm gonna cure them for about 90 seconds in my lamp. And then we're gonna see if that helps the foil to stick better to my nail instead of some of it on the nail and some of it still on the foil paper. So I'm trying, I'm trying, and somewhat success. It's not perfect, but you guys, I will take it, because if you have seen my previous attempts with foil, OMG, it sucked. And remember, I am doing this on myself, so I'm using one hand instead of really what I need to be using two, but it comes out way better than I would thought, than I thought it was. Um, but in the end, I still didn't really like my nails because the flowers didn't come out how I wanted them to, but they still came out nice. I think the next time I use them, I will do them on a clear nail or like maybe one of those clear color change um, poly gels so you could see it better. I feel like the nail polish was a little too close to the color of the flower, so it kind of washed it out so you can see it on some of my nails. But all in all, I am getting better with the floral, so I was excited about that part. And at this point, I just decided not to foil my other hand. Um, it was late at night and I was tired and I was mad at my paint job and I didn't like the nails. So I just top coated the nails and put them in the lamp and left it how it was.
So I'm gonna put, I had just put some cuticle oil on and that is how the nails came out. Basically, like I said, I only did the full design on one hand because I really didn't like it.